It seems like one thing after another in this prepper life. One more thing to prepare for, one more thing to keep an eye on, or one more situation that is just a moment away from exploding and changing our lives forever. If you're on this prepper journey, I know it can get lonely. I know that it can be difficult at times. I even know that some of the people that you love and care for most in this world won't listen. Those people won't even try to prepare for what's coming ahead. But don't get discouraged, and more importantly, do not get frustrated. Because as preppers, that's what we do. We try to foresee what lies ahead, and we put a plan in place for ourselves, our family, and for our loved ones, even if they are blind to some of the things that are going on in this world, and they simply won't listen to reason. See, as preppers, we know that one day, and that day seems to be getting closer and closer, that we cannot depend on anyone but ourselves and other like-minded people in our community. As preppers, we need to network with others who share the same mindset, just like in the real world, with our own communities and our own families. So if you are new to this channel, you're new to prepping, even if you're a seasoned vet, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Please like, share, and become a member of my grown community by subscribing to the channel. You see, as a prepper, you have to be strong when others are weak. And after SHTF does happen, folks, there may come a time that you may have to depend on someone else. Now, after dealing with this pandemic for two plus years, now World War III could potentially break out at any moment. You've been dealing with all these food shortages, massive supply chain backlogs, the bird flu, a baby formula shortage, severe drought and crop failures, a fertilizer shortage, inflation and skyrocketing prices, strange weather events, record job quittings, the great reset, and a whole host of other problems. But I have another one for you guys. Now buckle your seatbelts because it looks like this one can be the catalyst to set us back even further. Now, on the entire east coast of the United States, diesel fuel reserves are at their lowest level in recorded U.S. history. Now, this shortage has the potential to be huge. I mean, this diesel shortage has the potential to create massive problems, unlike anything that we've ever seen as modern Americans. You see, our truck drivers, they power those rigs with diesel. The everyday goods that we rely on are even in further jeopardy if diesel completely runs out or if it becomes in such short of a supply. You see, if that does happen, that will affect everything. And I mean everything. So however long that the diesel shortage lasts or the diesel outage were to last, you see, no more goods would be shipped to the stores because the trucks that deliver those groceries, they run on diesel. I'm talking about groceries. I'm talking about medications, toilet paper, water, hygiene products, you name it. Also, the gasoline that we put in our cars are also transported by diesel tankers. Our state and local governments, they normally operate fleets of utility and maintenance vehicles that also generally run on diesel. Many emergency uh, vehicles like fire trucks, they also run on diesel. Our school buses that transport our kids to and from school, they usually run on diesel. And most public transportation vehicles like city buses or transit systems that many people rely on to get back uh, to and from from work and school, they also run on diesel. You know, and then also some of the ships that are stuck outside our U.S. ports in the never ending backlog also use diesel as well. You see, if this truly does happen, I'm talking about this diesel shortage or a diesel outage. And if it isn't resolved quickly, this could be a major blow to every American. Our way of life would change in a matter of days at worst, and it could change in a matter of weeks at best. Now, people on the East Coast are gonna be affected first if this does indeed happen. But make no mistake about it, every American would be affected by this diesel shortage. See, as you can see, it's one thing after another in this prepper life. But as I stated earlier, as a prepper, that's what we do. So folks, there's only one thing left to do now, as I always say, and that is to get prepared. Continue to stock up on your food, your water, your medical supplies, your self-defense tools, and anything else that you and your family may need. Now, I urge everyone that is watching this video 
to please do two things for me right now. The first thing is very simple, just to help support this channel by subscribing and liking this video if you haven't already. Now, the second thing I ask of you is far more important though, and that is as soon as this video is over. Today is Sunday, shouldn't be as busy, so if you're able, go straight to the store and continue to stock up on your preps. You see, if SHTF does happen, folks, somebody's gonna be counting on you, and your preps may be just what they need to help get them through. Now, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. I just wanted to touch on this impending diesel shortage and diesel outage that could affect us here in the US like we've never seen. But I do want to thank you for watching this video. Please continue to prep, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, be blessed.